Welcome back for Final Thoughts. I know a thing or two about viral videos. I know those two minutes of content or what some call ranting can catch fire online. I also know the 25 second clip can do a whole lot of damage, especially when the target is someone that really can't defend themselves and the perpetrator is an iconic rapper and public figure with millions of followers. Have you seen this? This is the new generation is crazy. They're crazy. What's your name? Look at him, look at this. What kind of do you think he took before he got to work today? He high as a mother right here in the airport. Pupils dilated, everything looking like that. The new generation is crazy. It seems harmless, just a little fun. Unless you know the young man 50 taunts has extreme social difficulties, anxiety, and is hard of hearing. Andrew Farrell is a 19-year-old kid who worked very hard just to make it to his high school graduation. He found his janitorial job at the airport by himself. He gets up every day, goes to work, does his job, and goes home. He doesn't ask for special treatment. He doesn't bother anybody. He's certainly not on drugs. 50, what you did was wrong, and I'm sure you know it. I'm sure you didn't know the kid had disabilities. You're not a monster, but still, this is just sickening. It's sickening because this kind of crap happens every day and no one says anything. We've got good kids like Andrew out there working hard and minding their own business, yet they get harassed for being a little different, for being quiet. Meanwhile, we've got snot-nosed, whiny kids parading around college campuses protesting the college Republicans and asking for safe spaces. Yet, they get all the attention and are the poster children for what's right. They think they are social justice warriors. Bull. You're nothing but loud mouths with a rampant sense of entitlement and narcissism. 50's video has been taken down but has popped up all over the web. One YouTube upload has over a million hits and I will say this, most of the comments are positive. It's nice to know that amongst all the filth in this world, all the hateful garbage, there are still people out there that defend what's right. And Andrew, good for you. You could sit back and eat Cheerios on the couch and throw yourself a pity party like many of your peers. And no one would probably fault you for it, but you're better than that. My heart and my final thoughts go out to you and the millions like you that refuse to be a victim of this cutthroat culture. God bless you. God bless America. And until next time, take care.